Well, it seems no matter where you drive, those pesky potholes are still a problem. The city of Spokane says crews are filling them just as fast as they can, but one man reached out to KXOI4 saying that the city just isn't doing enough. And our Brittany Paris is working for you. Brittany, is there any end to this uh, pothole problem? Not as long as it keeps raining, Nadine. Now take a look. These are just some of the potholes that man was upset about. They're right in the middle of the road here at Maple and Pacific. Pretty hard to avoid. That man's hoping by reaching out to KXLY, something will be done about this torn up road. Leroy Norris says he's reported these potholes at least six times now. He's even talked with the city's street director, but nothing has been done. The city of Spokane has already filled more than 3,000 potholes. That's just since January 1st. First, more than all of last year combined. But after an unusually wet winter and spring, the city says the roads really need to dry out before they can make more permanent repairs. Well, I can understand them taking the, the bigger potholes, but they should have a crew out fixing these smaller potholes at the same time. They can have larger crews on the big areas. I know it's frustrating. Um, the roads, the road conditions this year have certainly been challenging. Um, and please know that we're out there. We're making the repairs as quickly as we can. The city says our subsurfaces under our roads are still really wet. That's making it difficult to make those permanent repairs, and it's why we're seeing some of those potholes pop back open. The city says they have at least two crews filling potholes daily, and they're working as fast as they can, but they're trying to balance all of that with road construction that's just started this month and other road work that needs to be done around the city. But again, they're working as quickly as they can and prioritizing the most used roads and the biggest potholes first. Live in Brown's Edition, I'm Brittany Paris, KXY4 News. Thank you, Brittany.